So let's get this hair together. So I literally just got through taking my surgical shower um, with my, you know, the special soap. They have you either use dial soap or you can use the surgical soap that we use in the operating room, which is called chlorhexidine. Um, and so I just got through taking a shower and cleaning with chlorhexidine. I have to do that tonight and then I have to do it again in the morning. So I went ahead and I washed my hair and you guys, I'm going to show you the stuff I use on my hair when I wash it, but I also want to show you my hair because this is what it's looking like y'all up under them wigs. I got the old salt and pepper going. And I always say I have 4C hair, but my daughter tells me that I'm wrong and that I have 4B hair. So, y'all, I don't really know the difference. I probably have a mixture of both. I just be guessing. I really don't know how the whole hair grading thing goes, but I've always said that I have 4C hair. So, this is what it's looking like. If you're one of the hair gurus that know about the different grading of the hair, um tell me what you think this is sis <laughs> is it 4c is it 4b <laughs> and so yeah so anyway that's what's going on with my hair right now i just got through washing it um and i wanted to show you guys this product that i always use on my and see these gray hairs baby they are so stubborn they do whatever they want to do they ain't studying me no they do what they want to do but I use this product and I just wanted to share this with you guys. I've always wanted to tell you all about it, but I keep forgetting. So this product I use is called Whisper Whip. And what Whisper Whip is, is it says that Whisper Whip, Whisper Whip, say that five times fast. <laughs> Whisper Whip hydration can be used as a co-wash, a deep conditioner, or a leave-in styling cream and so I like using it as a um, co-wash and a leave-in styling cream but the reason that I like it let me just tell you guys about the first what five yeah the first five um, ingredients in it okay well of course the first one is water then there's coconut oil olive oil shea butter oil and is it Jehovah oil and keratin enzymes so those are some of the first few ingredients in it, but I'm, I'm gonna, let me squirt some in my hand and I'm gonna show it to you guys. And y'all, I'm ashy as all get out, but I'm not allowed to put on any lotion. But this is kind of the consistency of it and what it looks like. And I love, love, love this stuff. I love it because and I already have some on my hair, but it really, like when I put it on my hair, and it's hard for me to do with my hand, but when I put it on my hair, it just like makes my curls so much more moisturized and so much more defined. Like they, my hair really curl, curls up when I put this on. So if you're somebody that likes wearing your natural hair and you want it to curl, you definitely could, you know, look at that. See how it does? You definitely can get that really curly look with this product. And you guys, I will leave in the description box um, the link to where I get this from. And you guys can go on their website and read all about them and everything. Because they're not paying you, girl. I'm just sharing this with y'all of what I use. And let me just, and I just want to show you how it just hydrates my hair. It is so awesome. Look at that. I know y'all see it. I know y'all see the difference. So yeah, I really, really love this stuff. And the thing I like about it is, I gotta wipe my hands because they're gonna be too slippery to hold this up. But I get like six of these big, huge bottles. And it doesn't tell me how many ounces this is, but it's got to be at least a good 32 ouncer. But um, I get six of these and then they normally send me about like six of these little ones. And I like taking these like when I go on trips or to my job because you guys know I'm a nurse. And a lot of times I, st I stay the night at work. And so I like just having these. Um, and so anyway, I get like six of these for like $90. And to me, I mean, look how much product that is for $90. And... 
I mean, I give a bottle to like everybody in my household. Like I give my mom a bottle, my son a bottle, both of my teenage daughters, I give them their own bottle. Only person that doesn't get their own bottle is my husband and that's because he bald headed. So he, he, we not wasting this on him. But, and this, these bottles last you forever. But I wanted to share that with you guys. So now I have done so. But yeah, see how it just, oh, it's, it's just so hydrating and nice. I love, love, love it. Um, so if you wanted to wear your natural hair, there you go. Y'all know I ain't doing that. I am team no edges. Look at that. And you guys, look, <laughs> you can tell exactly where I lay my lace because I am tan down here on this five head. And then back here where the lace be covered up is a completely different um, shade. So anyway, so I put this whisper rip in my hair and I'm going to put some more in there off camera. It's just I'm struggling with one hand to do this. And but I also like using their... Uh, this is called Argon Oil Ther Therapy Morocco Argon Oil. Yeah, Argon Oil. Yeah, and I got a new phone, and I love how it, y'all see it focusing. My old phone was like, I am not about that life. Like taking this, and what I do is like I pour, part my hair in like four different spots. And I just kind of oil my scalp with that, kind of to saturate my hair with the argon oil as well. I use my wooden comb I told you guys about. Now, make sure you check out my Amazon storefront because this wooden comb I got from Amazon. And uh, you can just click the link and go right to it. Got it all set up there for you. And of course, you guys, if you use my Amazon link, I will get like a little bitty bit of commission that I can use to pour right back into the channel. So any products that you see me use besides this Whisper Whip, and it might be on Amazon. I'm going to check it out and see. And if it is, I'll link it um, in my storefront. But otherwise, I will also just have the direct link to their um, website in the description box mm, this stuff smells so so good love it so I'm just going to go ahead and get my scalp all oiled up okay I'm not going to keep you out here showing you this part and then I'm going to have my daughter give me two braids and then after I get my, get it oiled up, have, get my two braids, I'm going to be putting on a brand new, just for surgery, um, Milano Collection Lace Grip Cap. Now you guys, surely by now you have seen my reviews on the grip cap and the wig grip. These are the originals by Milano Company. And this one is actually the lace one. But I did four whole reviews that like went viral, all of them, on these products. Um, and I will leave a link to them up here to that playlist. And you can see all four reviews if you like. I do not leave home, sis. Do you hear me? I do not leave home without a grip cap or wig grip up under my wig. And I personally prefer the grip cap because, as you can see, it is a wig grip and the cap all in one piece. So I love, love, love this. Make sure you check out that review. and It'll tell you all about it and how to put it on. So I'm going to get my hair together. I'm gonna. All I'm going to do is get a... Uh, my hair braided into a ponytail here, braided into one little braid here. I'm going to have two little braids and then I'm going to have my grip cap on um, on top of that and then I'm going to show y'all what wig I'm going to be slaying. Okay? Slaying for surgery. I don't know about the slay, but putting on for surgery. Alright y'all, so let me get this taken care of and I'll be right back. I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second 
Okay guys, so the wig we're going to be using for surgery is by Bobby Boss and it is a 13 by 4 inch deep lace, um, premium synthetic HD transparent lace with the Medifresh safe and clean cap and it is MLF243 Harina. This is what she looks like. Miss Harina, sorry, see, and I got her in the color number two. Wow, this is what she's looking like. I didn't know she had that, like, hmm, I didn't know she had them kind of curls. This is what her stock card's looking like. She does come in several other colors. And I wanted a different color besides the number two, but everything was sold out. See, here's some of the colors she comes in. So, let's see what she what she working with. <laughs> what she working with? Hey, hey. Nice. We love to see it. Nice bouncy curls. And let's see here. So, she's got that 13 by 4, as you see here. She does have these two combs in the front. Oh, she's also got one in the top. Great. She's got one in the back. And the adjustable straps. So, I always worry about, I never know if these combs are actual metal or if they're plastic. These feel like metal sort of like hairpins. So because of that, y'all, I'm gonna take a seam ripper and I'm gonna take all of these combs out of this wig only because when you go to surgery, you're not supposed to have on any jewelry, any body piercings or anything metal. So I don't wanna have this metal in my hair and the electrical cautery um, equipment that we use in surgery to help stop bleeding and those kinds of things can burn you. So I don't want my hair to catch on fire. So I'm just going to, as a precaution, just go ahead and take those out, okay? All right, so let me do that and I'll be right back. And then I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever burning up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. So I got those all out of there. There was one, two, three, four combs that I wound up taking out. And yeah. So now all I'm left with what is the two adjustable straps in the back. And these clasps are plastic. So I'm not going to get rid of those. I'm going to leave those there. But I don't like this green midway tag in here. Just because it's so freaking bright, you might be able to see it underneath the wig. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. So I just went ahead and I just cut that off. I'm going to leave the Bobby Boss tag because I like being able to reference back to my wigs later to see who, what, whose wig it is, what company. So there we go. So now I don't have to worry about if these were metal the um, electric cautery equipment that we use in surgery I don't have to worry about the electricity traveling to this metal and burning me okay so that was the whole point of taking that out this lace I am definitely going to wind up tinting so I'm going to go ahead use my normal lace tint spray that I always use guys my magic root cover up 
spray by L'Oreal. This is what I use to tint my lace. I use medium brown, of course, on the sides. And I use my makeup in the middle wherever I'm going to part it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, and I'm going to do this off camera because you guys have seen me do this a trillion times. I'm going to get the lace cut off and I'm going to go ahead and tint it. Also, just that, y'all, my, my hand is just like on fire. So, I, just to avoid you all having to watch me do all these facial grimacing because I'm hurting. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do it off camera and then I'll come back. Because I try to keep a smile and be uplifted while I'm doing the videos. But actually, I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Every time I move my hand. But anyway gotta keep the show must go on okay okay you all so i decided i was going to use my bold hold um extreme cream bonding glue to lay this wig down because i wanted it to last for a couple days and just since i was going to surgery i wanted to make sure that it was really really laid and melted and you know just wanted it to be right However, <laughs> this is where things begin to go horribly, horribly wrong. Because as you can see, as we're working on this, I did go ahead and I put down two layers and I put like one layer down. I dried it with my hair dryer, which is what you're seeing me hold there. And then I put the second layer down and dried it, the second layer down. I went ahead and pulled my wig forward to lay it and I got a really, really bad white cast, um, as you're going to see, like a white halo around my hairline. So I just started trying to do a bunch of different things to be able to get rid of that, that cast. And truth be told, I really never really did get rid of it all the way. Um, it probably would have been better if I just went ahead and used my bed, bed head to lay her down or my even lace spray. But I just wanted to make it more secure. But I really don't, th I think this um, bold hold is just gonna be best for human hair versus using it on synthetic, um, you know, the kind of lace they make for synthetic wigs because it just gives you that cast. And as you can see there, I got some glue kind of sticking out and I just went ahead and it wiped away easily. Didn't have a problem. Um, I will tell you now that I'm editing this, it is five days later and this bad boy is still laid down just as nicely as you see it here. Now what I was doing here was I took my, that little um, palette you just saw, that was for an eyebrow palette that you can use to do your eyebrows with and I was taking that, um, that eyeshadow or eyebrow shadow and trying to put it around that hairline to see if it would make it look, you know, more to my skin tone. And it really didn't work. It really didn't. Mo most of the things that I did use, I used my makeup brush, um, the rest of the foundation on my makeup brush, and it really didn't make it go away. What I really should have done, you all, is after I did all of this, um, you see me trying to make some baby hairs here, but see how you can still see that white cast? I probably should have just sprayed a little bit of um, oil sheen on there, and it would have took away like the chalky kind of look, I think, which is what I'll do the next time I want to lay it. But the next time, I don't even think I'm going to use the bold hold. I'll just use my bed head. Um... So here I'm using my uh, Scalp Illusions cream that I always use. And I went ahead and I sprayed it with a little bold hold. I mean a little bed head, I'm sorry. Sprayed it with a little bed head just to try to get it to, to melt down more. And then I'm putting my Sickle 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 Sacks elastic band around it. Okay y'all, so while my baby hairs are marinating, it is now 11.47. <laughs> and I get to eat, of, I, I'm not supposed to eat anything after midnight. So I thought I'd hurry up and eat me something because I literally didn't eat dinner today. Um, I don't think I've eaten since 11 o'clock this morning. So I made me a little sandwich. And this is what it's looking like. It's um, 
what is it called? I think it's called apple cherry wood ham. And I got some Gouda cheese there and some cheddar cheese on there and white wheat bread. And I made me, I got some Tostitos chips, you know, the scoops and some chunky salsa. And my favorite coffee, <laughs> Diet Pepsi. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash this real quick. And when I come back, we'll finish up and I'll talk to you about what I think about this hair, okay? I'm also, you guys, watching on my Kindle uh, on Netflix. I'm watching Blacklist Season 8. And I just started um, Episode 1. So, I'm going to go and get this down. I got to hurry. I only have uh, 11 minutes. All right. Hang on. I'll be back. Mm. <laughs> okay, y'all. That was so good. <laughs> But back to this. So let's see what we're working with under here. Oh, sis. That's melted. It's like butter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, look at that swoop to swoop. All right. So this wig here. This one right chill. What's her name, y'all? Harlena. Hold on. Child. MLF243 Harina. So, love. <laughs> All right, let's talk. Let me let's talk about it real quick, too. So, I love the way that she melted down. I am going to clean this up a little more just to clean that glue off my forehead a bit. Um, yeah. And yeah, this is a winner winner chicken dinner. So her hairline, I could have definitely went in and plucked that y'all, but I just didn't even want to, I didn't feel like being bothered with all that. I'm sick of this plucking in 2021. Like what are we doing with ourselves? Come on, y'all. When you say pre-pluck, make it pre-pluck for real, for real. But this is still so pretty. Um, she looks like a you know a little pre-plucked up here, or I just laid her to the gods, and it made her look more pre-plucked. Um, but yeah, shedding. She is a shedder. I mean, y'all. I got a lot of shedding. I just was constantly picking hair up out of my lap. So. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't I threw it on the garbage. I didn't even save it to show to you guys. But I was constantly picking hair up out of my lap. Um and for a minute there, every time I like ran my fingers through her, I was getting shedding, but it looks like it slowed down a little. Um, I will also say that she is definitely a, a tangler. Like I keep getting snags in her as well. But as you can see, like I'm pulling them right out. But I have had to, I have had to like brush her several times to get the snags out. But you know, you can still work with her. It's not a deal breaker whatsoever. But see how my, see how, y'all see that? Yeah. So yes, I am getting snags. But y'all, can we talk about these curls? Oh my gosh, so pretty. And I think I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna just leave her alone and the, the the snags that I'm getting are not gonna be a problem. I didn't give you guys a 360. I did go ahead and do her as a right side part because you all know I'm team right side, but you can definitely do a right, a middle, or left. That's the styling versatility that 13 by four will give you. But let me show you real quick. This is her on the right side. friendly y'all know Bobby boss ain't really about that big head life <laughs> so I would say 
I would say she's kind of big head associate. I, I, I think if you got a big head, she's going to be a little tight on you, like for real. Um, I'm not even going to say that she won't because she is like fitting my head, like fitting it perfectly. And my head is a 23 inch um, circumference with the wig, gr the grip cap on. So you can use that as a reference. But let's also talk about this color, y'all. I got the number two and I love the color blend on this dark brown. It is just so pretty. I normally go for a 1B and I was kind of in my feelings that it was sold out. And th literally the number two was all I had to choose from. And I love this number two. I mean, they did it so well. Y'all can see the brown in it. Um, I wish I could show you outside, but <laughs> it's 12, 15 at night. So that won't be happening right now. But I am very, very pleased with this. I think she's going to make the perfect surgery wig um, because she's like, she's not too long. She's like the perfect length, the perfect density. I will be able to fit her up under a bonnet perfectly without having to put a ponytail in her or anything. You know, when you have surgery, you don't really want to have a ponytail because then you got to lay on that the whole time. So I won't have to, you know, I won't have any lumps or bumps that I'm laying on. So it'll be very comfortable. As y'all see, I got her laid to the gods. Let me do my little trick where <laughs> this is what anesthesia going to see right here. Like, I'm not clockable. You cannot clock that. That look good, good. So, <laughs> we shouldn't have any problems with them wondering, is that a wig? <laughs> that should not be an issue. She's got a lot of body, arty, arty. And I'm very, ha I'm very pleased with it. The last couple units I've gotten from Body Be Boss have been winner, winner chicken dinners. So I'm very pleased with that. And I think I made the perfect choice. So, so far, Bobby Boss has been batting two for two with the perfect surgery wigs for me. The first one was Natalia, and now I have oh. Harena. <laughs> Your girl is surgery ready. So I'm gonna get up here, get my butt in this bed here in just a second. I'm gonna pick out my little outfit that I'm gonna wear. I think what I'm gonna wear, you guys, is just a sundress. Let me go get it, I'm gonna show it to you. So you guys, I had bought several different like sundresses for you guys to do a summer sundress haul um, on the channel to show you all these different sundresses that I came across, but with injuring my hand it has just like it totally threw everything off and I wasn't able to get all the content out that I wanted to get out to you guys this summer but this was one of the sundresses and I got this from Macy's and it's long long doesn't have a slit in the side or anything Yep, it's just a nice long tie-dye sundress. And I got her in a large. It's from uh, the Style & Co. Um, brand from Macy's. And I paid, I wanna say it was $22, plus I believe it was 20% off also, cause you know your girl ain't getting nothing without a coupon, sis. Not from no Macy's. So I got, a real, I got her for a really, really good cheap price. And I think this would be the perfect for surgery because it's one piece. I can just throw it on. I'm not even going to uh, wear a bra. I'm just going to throw this on and I'll be able to easily slip in, slip out, and get this hand fixed and get on back home. <laughs> so that's my plan tomorrow. If I have time, I'll take a couple pics just to let you guys see what it looks like. But I'm not sure if I'll really have time to do that. Um, my surgery is at um, early in the morning, so I got to get there real early. So if I can, I'll get a pic. If not, just know this is what your girl wearing. And it's going to be easy peasy. And I got my cute little hair. It's all going to be a look. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this hand. This hand is going to get back right, sis. In Jesus' name, <laughs> I'm confessing it. So this is how I'm looking this morning.
I got about two hours of sleep, I want to say. <laughs> but Miss Harena, I think that's her name. Y'all know her name. See, I'm getting kind of some snacks here. But it's all good. I'm going to take my brush and I comb her out. This is what she's looking like. See, she comes right out. So yeah, we still gonna roll with her cause she is laid. So Y'all see this uh, hot flash coming on? She's still laid, looking good. So this is what we're looking like. I decided not to go with the blue and white dress I showed you guys last night. I just threw on this little uh, sweat, sweat top and I got on a pair of shorts and I figured this would be easy on, easy off. And yeah, got my designated driver right here. <laughs> so we're getting ready to head on to the hospital and I will see you guys on the other side. No, not on the other side. I'll see you guys when I get back here. All right? Okay guys, bye. I just want to say hi. I was like, what's she doing? Yeah, she can't live without it. <laughs> just come give me a kiss. Ah. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay. Bye, guys. Just finished surgery. I just wanted to show you I was okay. Still waking up. Got my cast. I had a block, so I can't feel my arm at all or move it. But, Harina's. Did good for surgery. She held up well. <sighs> Got my designated driver here. Trying to get her a Michael Jackson. <laughs> what that mean? You know, you got the little thing in the front like that. Oh, my hair. Yeah. Okay. All right, all is good. Love y'all. love you guys so much thank you so much for always hanging with me all of your support if you are not a wezette go ahead hit that free subscribe button join the family i love you guys to pieces hit that thumbs up button you guys leave me a comment so we can trick the algorithm and it can push my content out even while i'm recovering okay i love you guys so much be blessed and remember sis what i always say to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. This is Wheezy, the sexy grandma 2K, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. This is QQ, y'all. Surgery, the office, anytime.